Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will learn how to make a MATLAB Simulink model for the power quality mitigation of voltage seg using a dynamic voltage restorer DVR. In this simulation, I am using a DVR by which we are uh, mitigate, mitigate a voltage seg in the power system uh, to improve the power quality. So this is the introduction and this is working and this is result analysis i will share this uh, this document with the simulation and i will give the link of my github then you can download the simulation and this uh, document from there so uh, don't wasting time i will go to the simul link i will go to the matlab now I will open the MATLAB Simulink model. Now this is the Simulink model. First I will explain what components are used in this Simulink model. So this is a continuous power GUI block by which we are, when we connect the power system components, then we need a, this power key block to run this simulation and uh, now we will understand main components there here is a three phase supply and uh, this is a transformer and uh, this is a three phase three phase mirror mint block and this is a three phase circuit breaker and this is again a mirror mint block and this is a three phase parallel RLC load and this is a DVR block in which we made basic uh, main uh, circuit uh, which work as a DVR and this is the this is this is the fault uh, block which uh, will make a fault in the power system and this is the volt uh, this is the scope which will show the waveforms of different values it is a voltage of three phase and this is the voltage of three phase at load and uh, this is the voltage we injected by dvr so now i will uh, show you the components values which i put in these components so i will double click on this three phase supply i I am uh, giving here 11 T power 3 it means 11 kV and the frequency is 50 hertz and this is the three phase short circuit level at base voltage is 30 MVA and this is the 11 K 11 kV phase to phase and this is the XR ratio is 7 and this uh, configuration is by ground it means it is a star with the ground it is the load flow it is a swing so i will show this transformer values now here this transformer is connected in delta and uh, delta y configuration with three phase uh, three single phase transformers parameters we will see is uh, per unit values and here the here the primary primary winding is 11 kv and the second winding will have 400 as voltage phase to phase the remaining values are as like shown here now we will see this three phase three three phase voltage and current measurement here we have voltage abc we make a tag this is a current ABC. This is the power which is flowing through it, and this is the nominal vol uh, voltage in uh, per unit. Now this is the circuit breaker. It is it is by default closed, and it will be closed. These are the values. Now this is the three phase voltage and current measurement again. We are mirroring voltage at load side, and this is the load three phase 
RLC parallel load and here this is connected as star grounded the values are shown here this is load has 400 volt and frequency is 50 hertz as in the as in the source now we will see this uh, fault block the fault block has values uh, and this fault block will create a uh, fault between these lines uh, phase b and phase c and uh, with ground so it will make a, a double line ground fault And one thing is uh, the fault will be between 0 0.03 second to 0 0.07 second. It this point should be noted. So the fault will be between this limit. Now we will uh, visit this DVR block. Now here this is a DVR block in which this is the controller, and uh, this is the values we are getting from and again this is a pwm generator which will generate a signal pulse with modulation generator and this is a two level converter and this is again a three phase breaker and this is the rl series load uh, which is connecting as a, a transmission line and this is a rc load and this is again three phase pi measurement block and this is a three phase transformer with 12 terminals so now we will visit this controller double click on it now here we are using a pi proportional integrated uh, controller and these are all components that are connected in this manner so now we will again come on the main simulation model here we will analyze these four values one is uh, voltage abc which are uh, getting from this block which have the same color and uh, this v load it means the voltage at uh, load side we are getting to here and we injected this is the voltage we have injected from this pi measurement block we are analyzing four signals when we double click on this fog log it will open this window we will have a four four different signals and we will analyze uh, four different uh, signals have their uh, uh, graphs in these portions so i will minimize it and now i will run this simulink model and uh, here one thing is noted that i am giving here 0 0.1 as a run time so i will run this click on it now it is compiling now it is running now i will open it now you can see the graph is floating on this uh, figure now here these points must be noted to analyze the signal behavior so in this this is a voltage abc it is before the uh, before the load side it means uh, the voltage at uh, source side and uh, this is the voltage with rms values and uh, this is the v load at uh, voltage at load and this is the voltage we injected by dvr so we have to analyze here that this is the uh, this is the source voltage waveforms this is the three phase the red is the red this is the blue and this is the green we have a three phase supply so we are analyzing all three phases now why we make this uh, rms values to in this graph graph because we are analyzing the uh, the seg of the voltage 
tag of the voltage waveforms. So for that we are making the RMS root mean square values of the voltage. So that's why we require the RMS. And this is the uh, voltage at load side. Now here you can see that the voltage at load side have perfect waveforms. And uh, this is due to a, a DVR dynamic voltage restorer because when the when the fault is occurred then uh, between the 0 0.03 second to 0 0.7 second 0 0.07 second and between these uh, two values uh, between the limit uh, these two limits the the fault is occurred so that's why these uh, sex uh, come here you can analyze here on the at the source side but you cannot see this seg on the uh, at the load side because of uh, dvr we injected this uh, this voltage waveforms into the power system to uh, improve the power quality of the power system so this is the purpose of DVR. Here you can see that uh, when the fault is occurred, the controller analyzes that the fault is occurred, then it will inject the voltage waveforms into the uh, power system to improve the power quality so that the load side uh, do not uh, disturb because we require the power system as a stable when the uh, when there is occur a changing in the voltage waveforms then there will be very much uh, dangerous for the power system to become out of order whole system so that's why we require the uh, this system to improve the power quality of the voltage waveforms in the power system so hence we analyze the uh, waveforms here now i will go here again now here if you require to import this model in the in the uh, document in the ms document then uh, go go to the format and uh, go to is go to this uh, option a screenshot and and click on this send windows meta file to clipboard so click on it now this simulation model is copied into the clipboard so now go to the document now if i have to import this document here where is my cursor then just uh, click on it and now if you go to this paste uh, option then click here and just click here then then this model will be imported in this document now if you zoom this document then there will be no drop in this uh, in this models so you can analyze here that there is no any uh, drop in the quality of this model you can zoom how much you can want but this uh, the quality will be not uh, drop so hence you can import this uh, this model to the document now if you convert this document in pdf then it will remain same as uh, shown as uh, as you can see it in the uh, ms word document again now if you understand this uh, uh, model then like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, if you not understand anything in this model then uh, comment on the video i will answer your query inshallah and uh, today for this okay thank you